Now for an electric vehicle in daily driving, the question is how many solar panels would we actually need to offset that energy consumption? It might be quite a few more than you're expecting. So I'm gonna run a test today with the solar panels and the help of a portable power station, what I can actually fit in the Cybertruck. I'm gonna lay these out and harvest the energy all day and then charge the Cybertruck to convert that into how many miles can we actually add to the Cybertruck if we harvest energy all day from all these panels. And then we'll also walk through a calculator which will help that convert it to your own scenario. You don't have to have a Cybertruck, you don't have to have a Tesla. You'll be able to convert that, your daily driving needs, what car you're thinking about or car you have, and then how many kilowatts of solar panels do you need? Now for my test, I'm gonna use three of these black panels. These are 360 watt panels from Helion and then six used Trina panels. Those are 320 watts a piece. I'll lay those out on my driveway in two different configurations with, I'll outline some more information on here in a bit, and then plug those into an EcoFlow Delta Pro 3, waiting about an hour and a half longer till 10.30 a.m. to get full sun on these panels to see what the ultimate solar input is under full sun. So the Delta Pro 3 has four kilowatt hours here in the base, and then we also have an additional battery that gives it an additional four kilowatt hours. So total, eight kilowatt hours we're trying to fill up here with solar we're currently at 18 percent battery capacity and running about 1800 to 1900 watts since we're right at about 11 a.m i do expect this to go up as we get full sunlight and get closer to noon 1 and 2 p.m now we got a little sunshade here it is not smart to have your portable power stations and direct sunlight just baking all day so i'm trying to take some of that out by just shading the top surfaces here so it doesn't overheat the unit so go ahead and continue to charge up these batteries. And then once we're at about 50% or higher, we'll take advantage of the L14-30, that's our output. That's gonna give us 240 volts out with a maximum of 30 amps. And that's what we'll plug the Tesla charger into and start to drain down these batteries, converting the overall energy into miles. So we're progressing nicely through our test. It's a little past 2 p.m. The sun's been pretty good, partly cloudy. So we do have clouds coming in and out but now we have about 68% in the batteries themselves and it's time to start exporting that to the Cybertruck or to the EV. First off, I'm gonna use a conversion cable, which is that L1430 to a NEMA 1450. So that's gonna plug directly into the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3, lock that in place. That converts over to the 1450 on my mobile Tesla charger. So I'll plug that in. And then often you need these little plugs, which are actually neutral to ground plugs, just has one wire connecting neutral to ground, which gives the mobile charger what it needs to see to not have an error code. This Delta Pro 3 actually has a switch you can flip that does the same thing without the need of the plug. So depending on what unit you have, maybe it's just a Boolean switch that you can flip, or you might need to get the plug. And you'll see a link below the video in the description. I'll have links to this conversion cable and the plug as well. So we'll go ahead and turn on the 240 side of the Delta Pro 3 and then plug it into the Cybertruck and adjust our amperage so we don't go past the 4,000 watt output of this unit. Now, before you plug in, make sure you adjust your amperage here. I'm gonna adjust it down to 15 amps, even though I can pull about 17 amps at 240 volts, which would keep us underneath the 4,000 watts of output capacity, continuous output from the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 but we'll just go ahead and do 15 and then that should be plenty and that will be over our solar input. So we'll start draining down that battery as we continue to put solar in. So we're winding down and kind of finishing up this test. But remember, this is a DIY setup. I've been pretty impressed with what this portable power station can actually do in terms of offsetting my daily needs. But for you, you're probably not looking at a DIY setup. You're probably looking at sizing a professionally installed system or adding on to an existing system that's already in your home. If you need a little help, there is a link below the video in the description, a little bit of information on your power bill and details on your home. And within a couple minutes, you can size what you need for a professionally installed system and rough in how much would that cost after the tax credits.
But then if you just got an EV or an EV after the fact, and you don't have power bills to see how much did I actually change my kilowatt hour usage over many, many, many months, you need to estimate that. We do have a calculator over at everydaysolar.com under the solar calculator section for the EV solar power calculator. Here I'll just type in my Cybertruck, which is 0.4 kilowatt hours per mile, that's the energy consumption per mile, entering in my daily driving, 30 miles, how many kilowatts or how many watts are my panels? 360 watts, 80% for the overall efficiency of the system. And then I referenced a map. There's a link in the description for how many sun hours on average do I get in my location, which is 4.2. All that converts out and says, okay, you need 3.5 kilowatts of panels or 10 panels if they're 360 watts to offset your daily driving. So what did we actually get through our testing? We're pretty much done with the day. We harvested all the sun's energy and then we tried to place that within the Tesla Cybertruck. We had two different charging sessions that I tracked on the Tesla app and really only tracked to whole kilowatt hours or an integer value, no decimals. So there is some room for error for sure in our results. First charging session added five kilowatt hours from our panels and the Delta Pro 3 battery into the Cybertruck. And the second session added two additional kilowatt hours for a total of seven kilowatt hours added from our DIY setup to our Cybertruck. Now Cybertruck's energy per mile, as we saw in the calculator is 0.4 kilowatt hours per mile. So taking that into account, we would divide the seven by 0.4. So seven kilowatt hours added divided by 0.4 kilowatt hours per mile. And then that converts us to 17.5 miles. So I technically added about 18 miles of range from what I could harvest from the sun today in our DIY setup. And that setup was about three kilowatts, right at three kilowatts worth of panels. So if we look at our theoretical that said, hey, you need 3.5 kilowatts of panels to offset 30 miles, we had three kilowatts and we only offset 18 miles. So it wasn't quite as efficient as I thought, which because we, which with our setup laying flat on the ground against the concrete, heating up those panels, some additional wire, there probably was quite a bit of additional losses in that DIY setup compared to a professionally installed system on the southern face of your roof, no shade at all at the right angle, you probably would see some better results with the same three kilowatts of panels that we use today. Let me know what you guys think. Was that more or less than you expected in terms of what we could add to a Cybertruck or just what you could add to range for an EV per day? Now, if you wanna see more on the wiring and also the inline fuses you should have in this type of setup, check out this video right here and I'll walk you through that Delta Pro 3 and bring in those two different sets of solar panels. That'll give you a lot more information. And then if you want just more information on wiring panels in general for your DIY setups, you can check out this video right here. We'll walk you through series wiring, parallel wiring, and series parallel to kind of give you a baseline for your projects that are ahead of you. So thanks so much for joining me on this video, and we'll catch you on one of those next ones. Take care.